Hey guys, it's Andrew Huang, and today I'm going to show you how to make any sound at all into a playable synthesizer instrument. You're just going to need a recorded sound and some kind of sampler with a looping function. I'm using Ableton Live because it is the greatest. Uh, and the sound that I'm going to demo this with is the Wilhelm scream. Pretty terrible sound used in countless movies, uh, but we're going to make it beautiful. So, on a new MIDI track, just drag a sampler and then put your sample into the sampler. Now you can play it. Everyone's pretty used to being able to do that if you've experimented with music production at all. But what we're gonna do here, and I'm sure someone else has done this before, but I don't know, I discovered it on my own a few years ago. You're gonna set your sampler to looping mode. And then you're gonna set your uh, loop area really small. Uh, and I'm just doing this completely at random. Here's a tiny, tiny loop. So once it starts looping, it creates this tone, and uh, I'm actually going to copy the loop start value to the sample start value so that we play the tone immediately. And you can just adjust this. Find something that you like, and it's a perfectly playable little sound now. Uh, so let me show you, let's take this one step further, uh, I'll show you my bass part from my Rock Paper Scissors track, which if you haven't seen is on my main channel. Let's just switch which track is active here. So here's one I made earlier. Uh, all the songs, or all the sounds in this song were made from rock and paper and scissors. And so the sample here is just a bunch of paper being hit, and it sounds like this. Uh, let's go a couple octaves down because this was a bass part. So it's like a simple sort of saw wave sounding part. Uh, and what I did was I added some effects, some overdrive, an auto filter with a bit of an envelope to it, which is definitely makes it sound a lot cooler. And there's a lot you can play with there to adjust it to your liking. Saturator is always nice for a bit of crunch. And I really like the Waves R bass plugin on all of my bass parts because it really just adds a little beef. That's kind of nice. I don't know if it's coming through in this recording. But anyway, so that's how to make it sound like a really actually cool synth. Um, and I would recommend too, if you're playing any higher parts, let's make this sound a little nicer. If you're playing higher synth parts with that, throw on a little reverb. that however you like it. Anyway, you can get some really beautiful stuff. Um, and you can do this with any sound you want. And I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. Check out Rock, Paper, Scissors if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter if you want to stay up to date with all of my mad creations. And uh, once again, I'm Andrew Huang. I make music in every genre. And I love tacos and unicorns and you. Peace out.